All right, College Glen, real estate finally. We're coming to the end of the year here and we're getting good news on the interest rate standpoint. They are coming down. It's gonna be interesting end and beginning of the next year. Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your College Glen neighborhood real estate specialist. I've been living in College Glen for over a dozen years now. Love helping out buyers and sellers in the neighborhood. It's just a great spot in the eastern part of Sacramento, right along the American River Parkway. Uh, my family, we love it and just love helping buyers and sellers in the neighborhood. This is your monthly update. This is for December 2023. We're finishing the year up here. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Holy cow. Christmas came early. Interest rates have come way down just in the last couple of days. As I'm shooting this video right now, they're around 6.6%. I mean, four, five, six weeks ago, we were at 8% interest rates. So if you've been following my videos, you know I've been saying the wild card is interest rates. Interest rates is the wild card. And that's been the definition of our last year in real estate in Sacramento has just been, it's a slow, not a lot of sales going on, not a lot of houses on the market. It's just because of interest rates. So it's really interesting to see what's gonna be happening moving forward. All right, let's take a look at November and we'll see the sales that happen and then we'll talk about the market moving forward, all right? November, 2023, we had five properties that closed escrow. You can see there, the meat of the sales is between 510 and 550, but we did have one heavy fixer outlier, big time fixer. Thing needed a lot of work you can see it started at 525 came all the way down to 499 and then it actually closed escrow at 410 to an all-cash investor there uh, i expect that property is probably going to get flipped and be coming on the market in the next three to six months uh fully renovated and everything it's a great location there on grand rio circle so um be on the lookout for that one coming up but as is common, you know, kind of the bulk of our market is kind of in the low to mid 500 range there. You can see from 510 all the way to 550 um, is, is kind of is, is normal for our market right now. And there was nothing overly special with any of those. Uh, the Water Glen one, it was updated a bit, but it was also around the corner of Water Glen and La Riviera. Um, so a little bit of pros and cons there. Uh, yeah, that's that's what happened in November. Now, right now, as I'm speaking here, the market has been just kind of a mixed bag. The ones that have been updated and dialed in really nicely, they've been the ones that have been moving pretty quickly, been selling at maybe a tiny bit above list price. The ones that have had some flaws, maybe they're a little bit dated condition wise, a location kind of flaw where it's on a little bit busier street, back into the freeway, something like that. Those ones are the ones that are sitting a little bit longer, just taking a little bit more time to eventually get sold. And so I expect that to probably continue as we move through to the start of the year. The ones that are dialed in, updated, remodeled, that's what the buyers are looking for right now. Um, buyers are being a little bit picky, but those properties are moving if if you're not kind of a sexy remodeled updated property you really got to make sure that you price it right for sure in order to get it to be moving for a buyer that's willing to take on something that they need to update and remodel a bit and stuff it's just kind of where we're at with buyers at the moment right now but big old news interest rates have come way down mid sixes right now and that is huge compared to where we were at eight percent just a little while ago so i believe we're gonna start to have the spring buying selling season start a lot earlier this year it might even start right after new year's day i mean i think even right now we're hearing about some properties that are moving with multiple offers and stuff and that is due to buyers going this same house would have cost me $150 more a month ago. And now I, rates have come down. I want this house. I think prices, maybe they might start moving back up with rates coming down, buyer activity, that might do it. So people are trying to get locked into properties now with that combination of kind of the winter pricing mixed in with much more favorable interest rates right now. So as we move forward, 
Typically what ends up happening is in January and February and March, more buyers usually come to the market and that usually happens before the sellers are ready to start listing their properties. And so typically at the end of winter, beginning of spring, we usually have a bit of a seller's market because there's more buyers and there's not a lot of houses yet to pick from. That usually eventually catches up with itself. Sellers come to the market by the time the spring comes along and we start to get a little bit more balance of buyer and sellers and stuff. But that's kind of what I'm guessing, expecting to be happening here, January, February, March. I think we're gonna have some more buyers coming out of the woodwork here, looking to get into properties. And I just don't think we're gonna have a whole lot of inventory right at the get-go. I think it's gonna take a little while before people go, oh wow, rates have come down. I guess it is time for me to get that house on the market. It's gonna take a few months. So uh, that's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm feeling. If you're looking for information to connect with me, you need help buying a property, or you need to get your house sold, you can find me at collegeglenrealestate.com. I look forward to talking to you soon. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and have a good one. Clear skies.